Okay. Volley. Oh. Okay. Ah, a day at the fun fair. I'm sure there will be plenty of fun. But with Sophia getting her graph done, some games might not be played fair. The last time I went to a fun fair, I wasn't the right height to get on the best attractions. I was told that a grown man wasn't allowed to ride ride the cute and cuddly caterpillar coaster. Oh no. How was I supposed to know that the ride was only was for children only? Anyway, let's see what this roller coaster of an episode has in store for us. Oh, I'm so excited for this challenge. Who doesn't love a fun fair? Fun fair or not, this is a chance to get to know the guys a bit more. And Okay, okay. I don't want Jesse and Hayden to be able to take their eyes off me. You're not wrong, Sophia. We need to be looking our best. How about you, Shelby? I know you'll smash the look. Oh, yes, definitely. I'm going to wear the same exact swimsuit. Talk about putting the fun back in fun fair. It's not like you haven't seen this swimsuit before. Come on. Didn't think I could worship Shelby anymore, and then she turns this out. You act like I don't bring it every time. Frankie leans in to whisper to you. I wanted to have a chat with you about Hayden and the talk we... <laughs> had this morning. It was a lot. Oh, yeah? feel like you should know what we talked about. Want to go to the terrace so I can tell you everything? <laughs> I need to know it all right now. Thought so. Let's go before they notice. You and Frankie leave the others and head out to the terrace. Frankie leads you over to the sofa and you make yourselves comfy on the cushions. <laughs> Straight to the gossip, please. Of course. Look, I know you had to make a choice to split a couple up. Did I love being chosen? No, but we move on. Yeah, I feel a bit bad. No, I don't. I want Hayden. Yeah, it wasn't the best feeling. I feel kind of bad, but I did what I had to do. No, don't feel bad. I, I'd i have done the same. I was never going to get Aggie at you, Obs. It was just a bit of a shock. And then to be in a new couple, that was a lot. That's why I had to go chat to Hayden this morning. So what happened? It was a bit awkward when I first went down there. I just straight up said that it felt like we were drifting apart. Oh yeah? I couldn't pretend that wasn't happening. We have to face it. But I still hate that we're not a couple anymore. Don't get me wrong, Jesse is so sweet and we have fun, but I miss Hayden. What did he say to that? Hmm? He said that we don't know what the future holds. I suggest we could maybe rekindle what we had, but if I'm honest, he didn't seem to believe it. That's that we could get back there. I have to tell you this, it wouldn't feel right if I didn't. He was clear that he's into you. Oh yeah, like really into you. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I don't blame him for that. You can't help who you like. Oh yeah. But it does make me feel like I don't know what's going to happen between us now. Frankie thinks in silence for a moment. What is it? Today's gonna be weird. The splits, the new couples, May as well embrace the change. I don't have a couple. Oh my gosh, stop messaging me. That's the way to look at it. Sophia seemed well into embracing it last night. Hold on a minute. Yes, okay. Sophia seemed well into embracing it last night. How do you know that? Did she give you all the deets? Yeah, she told me what went down early this morning. Couldn't wait to spill it. Or stir it. Are you surprised? Not at all. She loves it. Apparently she crept down there and laid it on Hayden. Like put all her flirt into it and I'd give it to her. She has skills. I just think she did it to make Jesse jealous. Hayden told her that he'd be annoyed if he knew she was outside with another boy. But that's not all. Tell me more. She told Hayden that she really was really tempted to kiss him. That's a bit much from her. Well, that's a lot to be saying so quickly. She's doing too much and I'm not buying it. 
only I can do too much. Exactly what I thought. Also not into the fact it's with my old partner. Then Hayden told Sophia that he was flattered but didn't see her in that way. Oh yeah, only me. He said that to her? Yep, made it super obs that he was shutting her down. He was polite about it though. She wasn't loving the way he ended the chat. Since he thinks Sophia should reign in the Jarhama and have fun with Jesse. Instead of playing games to make him jealous. Sophia said she appreciated the advice but wasn't going to listen to him. F off, pancake. Jeez, what a midnight chat they had. Right? It defo going to affect the challenge today. Wonder what else will happen. Lots of games to find out. Sophia bursts onto the terrace with a big grin. Enough yapping, girls. It's time to go to the fun fair. You both jump up and follow her lead. You and the girls rush over to the boys on the challenge stage, which has three fun fair sections. The first section has four striped kissing booths. Yes! Wow, that was loud. What did I say about kissing challenge? They made. Frankie picks up the rule card, placed it placed on the booth and reads it out. The boys must take their place in a booth and put on their blindfolds. Woo! Naughty. The girls must will take it take it in turns going down the line of booths and kissing each boy. And then the boys must rate each kiss out of ten. Shall we get started then? Let's do it. Come on, boys, into the booths. I only want to kiss Hayden, though. Glad I lip-balmed up this morning. Enough chat. Get those blindfolds on. Taking charge. I love it. The boys make their way on into their booths, slipping on their blindfolds, grinning excitedly. Sophia whispers to the boys so the boys can't hear. I'll go first, girls. It's the least I can do. Sophia struts over to Jesse's booth. She trails her finger along his arm and chest. This one's a tease. She pulls him into a slow and sensual kiss. His hands wind up around her waist as she places her hand on the back of his head and caresses his neck. Like he isn't going to notice who that is by caressing her waist. She pulls away with a confident smile. Jesse shakes his head in disbelief. Whoa. <sighs> Hayden. Sophia quickly moves on Hayden. She doesn't waste any time pulling him into a passionate kiss. That girl went hard. She prances over Ethan without a look back. She quickly kisses Ethan, keeping her hands on his broad shoulders before pulling away quickly and moving on. Okay, short and sweet. Sophia gets to Milo and kisses him softly and slowly. She ends the kiss and walks back to you and the girls. Well, that was a great start. I loved every second of that. We could see. Time for your scores, boys. I'm giving a solid seven. Gonna second that and also give a seven. Sophia quietly claps her hands. That kiss was out of the world, so she deserves a nine. Oh, knew he'd love it. I'd have to agree, a nine for me too. Sophia jumps up and down, ecstatic with her scores. That's an overall t score of eight out of 10. I think I'm gonna have to go all out. Sorry to make it so hard for the rest of you girls. I'm beating that score, no problem. Hard, there's nothing hard about beating you, Sophia. Ooh, I love the confidence, but I'll believe it when I see it. You'll see it, don't worry. Enjoy the glory while you can. Guys, I'm up next. Watch out, I'm about to, sc to score 10 out of 10. Spoiler alert, Naya will not be scoring any 10 out of 10s with those kisses. Her lips lock with Jesse, Ethan, Hayden, all left a little to write home about, but her smooch with Milo wrote a whole novel on mouth to mouth. Naya claps her hands and dances her way back to you. That was so much fun. Could happily go again. 
told you. Time for your scores. You turn back to the boys. I'm giving this girl a seven and a half. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a seven. I'm scoring that kiss a seven and a half too. I enjoyed it. I thought the kiss could have had a bit more passion. I'm scoring it a high six. No, I loved it. It's giving me a score of nine. It was so genuine and natural. I didn't want it to end. That's a seven and a half overall, Naya. Love that for me. I was only in it for Milo anyway. And he loved it. I think it's your turn to wow them, Shelby. Gonna beat me like you said, right? You've got that right. You saw Shay over to Jesse's booth. I feel like this is gonna be an amazing kiss already. You reach for him and let lets you lead. <sighs> you close the gap between your lips and kiss him hungrily. Your hands grip the back, holding him close. You can feel his muscles ripple under your fingers. He opens his lips and no, that's only for Hayden. <sighs> I can't do this again. My tongue's only for Hayden. Ew. You lost my no mummy and the kiss. You don't step away just yet. That was amazing. Uh, Frankie lived. Uh, I feel like I'm in for a treat after just. Oh, he's okay though. Then I'm on. A treat after Jesse's reaction. Tease him. You slowly run your fingers up his arm and across his chest. He sighs at your touch. You move your hands down his stomach and across the waistband of his shorts. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he didn't you like that? What a build-up. I'm not pecking him on the cheek. Your lips crash together in a passionate and fiery kiss. His fingers trail behind your neck, pulling you into him. He melts into you like he can't get enough of your lips. His tongue explores yours as you move in perfect rhythm. You suck his bottom lip before gently nipping it. He moans quietly at the tease. He quickly pecks you a few times before the kiss ends. Oh, that's romantic. That was so perfect. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. Can every challenge involve kissing? You make your way to Ethan. He rests his hands on, on the booth. Hey, you. You don't even know who you're flirting with, Ethan. Sush. This shush. This is between me and the woman in front of me. Where were we? Oh, we were about to kiss. <sighs> Sorry, Hayden. Sparks fly as your, as your lips meet. The connection between you feels magnetic. His hands find your way, their way to your waist, pulling you closer as the world around you fades away. He deepens the kiss, savoring the taste of your lips, and his tongue brushes against yours. Ugh. You tease his tongue with yours and he gasps and s softly, caught off guard. Finally, you pull away. Well, that was something else. You shut away from Ethan, who is grinning ear to ear. Milo is not so patiently waiting for you, bouncing on his feet as, he's, as, as if to hype him up for the kiss. Can't wait for this one. Oh, yours and Milo's lips coll collide. The kiss is fierce, hungry. Milo's hands reach up to tangle in your hair, deepening the kiss as he explores your mouth. Um, Hayden! You pull away for a moment, making him wait before driving back in, your tongue's moving in perfect rhythm. Hayden! Milo leans in further, giving you a series of light fluttering kisses that leave you wanting more. You finally pull back. You feel the warmth of his breath against your lips. <sighs> he stands with a big smile on his face as you let go of him and turn back to the girls. Anytime you feel like having another go at the kissing booth, mystery woman, I'll be here. And I think we all will. Having kissed all the boys, you head back to the girls. That was so hot. They loved it. Still don't think you come close to my score, Shelby. Shut up. Jesse clears his throat, ready to give his score. <laughs> All right, I'm scoring that kiss a 9 out of 10. Sophia scuffs at the other girls. Congratulate you. Good start, hey, Sophia. Let's hear the rest of them before you gloat. That kiss will live in my mind for a long time, so that deserves a 9. I couldn't be more into it if I, I tried. I think the kiss was a 7. What? 
average at best. You scored two sevens. Don't forget, Sophia. I'm going to give the... Ah, we tied? I'm going to kiss Hayden one more time. If that's a thing. I'm going to give that a seven. It was a good kiss. That's an eight for you, Shelby. I should have gone higher. Yeah, I'm not into that score. I should have gotten higher for sure. I feel like they didn't really give me fair numbers. Boo-hoo, Shelby. You got higher than I thought you should have. F off, pancake. Come on, Sophia. You knew she'd give you a run for the top kisser. Not leading anymore, Sophia. She didn't beat me, though. Enough chatting. I've got some smooching to do. I'll be back with tens across the board. Knock, knock, who's there? Frankie's head. And maybe her teeth and her nose. Yep, Frankie's kisses are almost as awkward as that time I called my dentist dad by accident and may also result in substantial tooth pain. With an average score of 5 out of 10, it's safe to say 10s across the board was optimistic. <laughs> but hey, at least no one needed an emergency appointment afterwards. Actually, can we double check that, guys? Let's never talk about those kisses again. What kisses? Never seen you kiss a person. Ever. I'd do you a favor and wipe their memories with some new kisses. Elizabeth wields those lips like, well, an excellent lip wielder and leaves nearly all the boys wanting more. I say nearly all the boys. Poor Ethan might need some rest and relaxation after Elizabeth's lip assault. But hey, you can't please everyone, can you? That was super ox. No way, you were hot. You did see what happened with Ethan, right? Utter cringe. Don't remind me, I get so awkward around him. Well, the proof is in the scores. Def let me wanting more, I'd give it an 8. Yeah, it's pretty good, an 8 from me. Really, did we kiss the same girl? I'd give it a 3 at best. <laughs> well, what happened over there? Mine was super cute, I'd give it an 8. I have no idea what that average is out as. Jesse, a resident genius, would you mind? 3 eights and a 3. The girl sc <laughs> scored an average of 6.75 out of 10. Nice one, Lisbeth. Honestly, pretty chuffed at with that. Not enough to join the 8s, though. Are we done now? You know, I could use one more kiss just to confer I s confirm I scored everyone correctly. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to another smooch. Gotta collaborate the figures. Count me in for w whatever that means. Elizabeth whispers to you, whispers to you and the, the girls. Look like the boys want another kiss. Count me out. I'm done embarrassing myself for one more day. <laughs> How about it, Shelby? Are you... Or are you all kissed out? Maybe you could even increase your score. Why don't I get an extra kiss if we're tied? Shelby's the bombshell. Yeah, bombshells get extra kissing, right? Wanna bet I have to pay gems? Well, Shelby, are you going to make one of these boys' days with another kiss? Hayden! Another kiss with a boy of my choice? How could I resist? Sophia glares at you as the boys let out a cheer of excitement at the prospect of another kiss. They puff out their chests as they wait for you to decide who to kiss. Alright, let's get in this over with, Shelby. Who are you going to kiss? Hayden! You strut towards a blindfolded Hayden and hear an intake of breath as he hears you approach. Your body tingles with anticipation as you draw nearer. Hayden puts his arms out, inviting you in. Let him put his arms around you. Yeah. You lean into Hayden's touch and his arms instinctively slide you around, slide around your waist, pulling you close. You feel the warmth of his breath against your lips as you tilt your head up to him. Oh yeah, snog of him intensely. You press your lips against Hayden, Hayden's with an intensity that he instantly matches. He pulls you closer as the kiss quickly becomes hungry and urgent.
his lips part, deepening the kiss until the world around you fades away and you become locked in the moment. Your hands find their way to the back of his neck, guiding him as his body presses closer to yours. The connection between your mag you mag magnetic. Your lips move in sync, each kiss growing more heated, more desperate, shivers rippling down your spine as his hands move up your back. Nibble Hayden's lip. You slightly nibble Hayden's lower lip, teasing it between your teeth, savoring the way he responds to your touch. Hayden lets out a soft moan as you gently suck on his lip, pulling him deeper into the kiss. Oh, we're not done yet? When you fi oh okay. When you finally pull away, both of you, both you and Hayden, are breathing heavily, faces inches apart. For a moment, you stand completely still. Both of you lost in the intensity of the moment. Finally, you turn and walk back to the girls who are whooping and cheering. That has to be one of the sexiest kisses I've ever seen. Whatever, it didn't look that great to, sh great th to me. Shut up. Not that great? You can't be serious. Yeah, I think Hayden would have to disagree. Just look at him. Hayden is standing with his mouth slightly open, clearly still stunned by the intensity of the kiss. <laughs> anyway, shall we find out what your score is? I'm not sure who just kissed me, but I have to hand it to them. It was far the best kiss I've ever had. Can I give a score of 11 out of 10? Oh, oh no, you can't. Yes, he can. Fine then. 10 out of 10. Well done, Shelby. You smashed it. You can take off your blindfolds now, boys. Who had the highest score? With that time, it was Shelbs. Shelbs. Shelby. Hobbs. Whatever. I think we all know who the true winner was. Shelby. Yeah. Frankie? <laughs> I was robbed. Keep it humble. It was the look of the kiss. The vibe was right for me. Nah, you know you deserve it. Definitely deserve it. If that was the first part of the challenge, then this is going to be an amazing day. Your attention is drawn to, to the next fun challenge. How many more gems am I going to have to spend? This is like, I have 31. I've, look everyone, it's a dunk tank. Let's go. You and the others arrive at the dunk tank. Sophia pick, reads the challenge instructions. Each islander will sit suspended over the water. They will be asked trivia about the other islanders. If they get it wrong, it's dunk time. Looks like I'm up first. Sophia takes her time climbing up to the seat. She swings her legs as she waits for the first question. Elizabeth reads it out. This islander's childhood pet was a snake. Oh, wow. Hayden? Zzzt. Incorrect. Sophia drops into the tank and is submerged in the water. She surfaces and pouts. Really? Thought I had that one. It was Ethan. Her name was Saskia. Oh, gosh. Cute. Looks like me and Hayden need to spend more time together then. Nope. Can't be getting these questions wrong. Sophia climbs back into, geez, into the sea for another question. Next one. This person's favorite position is reversed cowgirl. Oh, easy. Jessie, obviously. That was too easy for her. That's like one of the first questions I've ever asked. I ever asked him. You can avoid another dunk then, Sophia. On my way down, she descends the ladder and joins everyone. Jesse, you go. Up you go. Jesse salutes and speeds up the stairs, taking a seat above the water. Ready? Born ready. This islander is a designer. Me. Let me think. I'm going to go for Shelby. You got it. Of course I did. Skipping the dunk all the way. Careful, you got another question. Go for it, bro. This girl turn this girl's turn on his sexy massages. Now I have to know this one. He shakes his head as he tries to think. I uh, I'll say Frankie. It was me. How did you get that wrong, Jesse? I couldn't think. The seat drops and he gets dunked into the tank. 
He pops his head out of the water, hauls himself out, and hurries back to the group. We spoke about this. I told you so much about me. I remember now, but my mind went blank. It's fine. Next person. That's you, Frankie. This is going to be eventful. She makes her up. Her, she makes her way up to the tank and sits down. It's quite a nice view from up here. Focus, Frankie. This islander was a bum double for a famous actor. Oh, I know. I knew I should have admired the boys' bums before this. Hmm, was it you, Ethan? No, it was Hayden, you idiot. Idiot! I'm flattered, but nope. Frankie is dropped into the water. She splashes around as she gets back to the seat. Who was it then? Let me say, let me say. That would be me. Oh, I want to seem like the most. Is that on your CV? First thing it says. Love that you could think that I could be a bum double though, Frankie. Shut up. Let's see if I can redeem myself. This islander once said cucumbers are annoying. What? What did cucumbers do to this person? Psst. Or pfft. It's going to be a pure guess. Jesse? I'm the cu cucumber hater. You got me. There's just... They're just... They're... They, no they bring nothing to the table. Boring and watery. That's a strong opinion on v veg. Wait till you hear about my feelings about cauliflower. Me too. I don't think we have time for that today, mate. I'm coming down before I get dunked again. She climbs down and rushes over to you all. Slightly better at trivia than kissing, it seems. Can't win them all. Ethan, you're up. Easy work. Easy until you're dunked. Ethan climbs into the seat, his toes dipping into the water. Alright, I'm ready. The questions can begin. This islander has a vintage shop. Oh, I know this one. Lisbeth. Yikes, I don't know this one. There's, where's that confidence gone? Can I get a different one? That's not how the game works. Damn, I was just gonna say Shelby. You laugh and shake your head. Not me. It's Lisbeth. Yes, that would be me. Ethan is dunked in the tank. He swims to the side and sits back down, wiping the water out of his eyes. I changed my answer to Lisbeth. You made your bed, Ethan. Fair, hit me with another. The islander is guilty. Pleasure is sucking the chocolate off, uh, chocolate off chocolate nuts. I don't know. Whatever gets you going, no judgment here. That's defo a Franky thing. I don't feel that guilty about it. You should try it. I'll take your word for it. Coming down. He heads back down the ladder. Who's next? I'll go. I love a bit of trivia. He speeds up the steps and takes his seat. Comfortable? Surprisingly comfy, yeah. The Silenders a deal night is out deal night out is dancing till dawn. I thought these were gonna be hard. That's Naya. Absolutely is. Also I remember Shelby saying something similar on day one. That well remember that's my ideal Saturday night. Sure. Crushing it. Let's see if you get the next one before you get too excited. Milo claps his hands and focuses all his attention on answering the question. This islander's dream holiday is an epic safari. Hmm, let me think for a sec. Is he gonna bottle it? I'm saying it's Shelby. Yeah, you're right. How did you manage to dodge the dunk tank? Milo laughs as he swaggers back down to you. I just know things. All things. Shelby, it's time to see if you can avoid getting dunked. Ah, there's no way I'm getting dunked. I can tell you right now, I'm not getting dunked. I'm getting all the questions right. Ooh, the confidence. Hopefully I'm not. You clamber up to the seat high above the tank, your toes curling in anticipation. It's a long way down. Okay, I'm ready for my first question. Oh my gosh, this one is super spicy. What is it? Now it covers her hand, her hand with her mouth, her eyes wide in disbelief. Come on, Naya, stop holding it out on us. Which of the boys? She glances at each of them in, in turn, eyes narrowed in suspicion, would steal the money if you wanted to show. Oh! Oh. 
I don't know. Someone needs to tell me the answer. Uh oh, the boys are in the hot seat now. I used to be in the hot seat constantly back when I was dating my ex. She had one of these cars with the heated seats and she always let me ride shotgun. When we broke up, I missed her so much I used to close my eyes and sit on a hot water bottle to pretend I was with her again. Which was great until the hot water bottle burst. My bums never recovered. Let's hope the boys can handle the pressure a bit better. Come back next time to find out.